welcome back to the channel guys. This is Ryan here at See No Evil Builds. Bringing you guys a quick update on the uh, 66 C10 Chevy pickup. A la Funny Truck. And somebody in the uh, comments called this the Funny Truck last time. So I thought it was pretty suitable for this build. The body is down. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this one last time. It's gutted out. There's nothing inside there. And it's weathered. Some nice holes in there. Uh, ready for the weathering, so that's completed. The chassis is, I would say, 95% done. Fuel lines need to be run up from the tanks. They're uh, mounted back here. So I gotta run them up to the fuel pump. I'll show you guys that real quick. It's just Scratch built this fuel pump here. Uses uh, some photo etch bolt heads and um, just some. Some stock rods, some hex rod, and uh, made a couple of things. Let's see if we can get a little closer. And uh, there's a hole inside that hex rod right there, which I'm gonna run the fuel line through up to the linkage, and then to the uh, fuel block right here, which is already done. I got some fittings back here, so I'll go. So that's pretty much all I need to do, and then from the linkage, I'll run a f um, throttle cable to the to the uh, pedal there. So. That's it for that. I guess I'll leave that so you guys can see the detail. Um, from the front, I'll back up just a bit. The front suspension is done. It's mountable. It's kind of wobbly. I made the tolerances a bit too loose. I've been messing with it. Still, you know, I'm still working on it. It's kind of getting messed around. And um, let's see. My son was <laughs> got my son over here playing with it not too long ago. So it's just the way it is. Next time I'll do the tolerances a little bit tighter so it'll have, it won't be so fragile. But I mean, look at that. You got full tilt if you want. So, and uh, it's all functional and it's 100% just from the brain. You know, I, I pick things up here and there. I've been using a lot of tiny, you know, rod and styrene rod and uh, my Proxon drill, which has a, I'm not even sure the size of it, which is a tiny bit. So I can do lots of, that's a cool um, fabrication and stuff like that and making things actually work which is really cool so I'm just learning a lot and these builds are taking longer than I uh, would like them to but I just take everything as I go and try to learn and redo things like I had the whole front the whole stock front suspension completely done the wheels were set and I just clipped it off and I just wasn't feeling it I wanted a more attitude when it's sitting there you know this is gonna be a pretty mean build so i wanted that those wheels to be turned to the side and and just have put a little bit more into it so in doing that i took the chance cut it off and just rebuilt the whole thing and it was, it's cool it's worth it for sure so from there let me zoom in a little bit more so from there i did the, the steering linkages i had to modify all of this and the seating position is way different so well, it's not way different, but I just moved it back. So this was modified. Um, it's uh, wired. It's plumbed. I got the fuel block back here. And the fuel injection. The uh, solder headers. If you can, can't really see them too well, but did a solder header on there. Um, the uh, MSC box is on the other side, and then below that, it's the uh, MSC box is on the the uh, dual fuel fil or the um, oil filters and those are plumbed to the uh, to the block and uh, back here you can see into the seating compartment and we have the tack and that's wired and run down to uh, to the MSD box and then back to the battery and then we have the dual master cylinders here which are plumbed and we got a few fittings uh, let's see. And it's all connected. I mean, I really have a blast just getting deep into the details and making things right. Like, all this needs to be touched up. There's a lot of paint touch ups and stuff, but that's just from working on it. And see, here you can see fuel lines or uh, brake lines going back. Let me swing around here. So, we got the brake lines into some fittings back here. And um, it, it works. You know, there's a. Uh, let's see, I might be even covered up. I put a. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but just a brake, brake bias or something like that, where the, the brake line splits from one to two. And uh, let's 
split in the brake line back here. We got the battery with the hole down and some photo etch uh, holding the, uh, the terminals. Let's see. I did a varnish uh, on the uh, rear tires here along with the decals to kind of tone down the, the shininess. Molotov chrome pin on the pulleys, on the blower, and just try to do a series of different finishes across the body, across the, the chassis and different components, just to break it up. And the inside here, let me try to get in here. I really wanted to get that varnish in the seat and the seat decals. And I'm um, sorry for moving this around so much, but um. Uh, that's pretty much where I'm at now. Um, next up, I have the body to do. Which, if you guys saw Stig 900, he just did a uh, 55 Chevy tribute for CT Speed Shop. Man, that thing is badass. I'm just going to say it. The details, I've seen it built up. You put a twin turbo, supercharged. This thing's just a beast. I mean, it would probably just rip the engine right out of the front with how much power it's got. But uh, lots of detail, lots of scratch make parts, and uh, my favorite part definitely is the uh, weathering job he did on it. That's definitely the effect I'm going for on this body here. Let's see if we can slap it on. And um, I hit him up on Messenger, and I was just like, "Wow, how'd you get that done?" And you know, and I uh, just kind of was just asking him, just um, been hesitating on getting this body painted, but. I'm pretty much done with the chassis at this point, so I think it's time to get it done, get some primer on it, and and have a go at it. So he told me he did, he followed Mr. Mini Dreams uh, tips, and uh, I've been watching, I, I watched all those. I have um, Blair Pletcher's playlist for weathering in my uh, on my channel. And this build is actually inspired by Blair, Blair Pletcher. I wanted to use his technique on the... Uh, on the weathering and uh, just something I remember when Mr. Mini Dreams was doing the videos about it he said this he likes he, he, he liked these kind of builds and um, that weathering he was definitely one to take note you know while walking through a junkyard or just walking past a rusty car to uh, just take note of the realism and how things rust and, and what areas are typical for rust so I think that's why a lot of his his builds were just so authentic as he put a lot of time and effort into how they how they actually look. So that's one something I wanted to do. So I'm glad that um, after seeing it done recently by Stay, I just reconfirms like how I want to get this build done. So that's gonna be the last step. So probably by the uh, next update, it'll either be a final or just you know before the final, maybe after I get the weathering done. But uh, that's it for now. So thanks to all you guys for stopping by. If you made it this far in the video, you know, thumbs up. And I um, appreciate it. Stop by the uh, Facebook channel or the uh, Facebook group. I appreciate all you guys for posting if you've been on there. And uh, just come check it out. I post things um, more frequently on there as far as updates on builds. It just takes me longer to, to make a whole video and uh, get it on YouTube and stuff. So... On Facebook, you'll see uh, sooner, quicker updates and uh, stuff like that. And definitely lots of stuff from fellow members. And there's tons of talent in there. And I appreciate everybody for uh, posting and sharing their work. It's been lots lots of fun. Every day I'm getting new requests, which is really cool. So it's just growing and growing. And I love seeing all the new members post. And uh, it's really been cool. So check that out. Check out the next videos. And uh Check out everybody. If, if people aren't making videos and you know, you're know you kind of almost out of videos to watch, scroll through their playlists and watch some of their old projects. There's lots of talent and uh, lots of things to be seen and learned from. So that's enough rambling from me. I'll see you guys next time right here. See you in Evil Builds. Stay tuned. Stay inspired. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.